welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another weekly love reading. I did it for Aries so I thought I'm going to continue it all the way through for all of the signs. It may slow down my it may slow down my schedule this week but it is what it is. So um, with regards to this reading we're going to take a look at what is surrounding you in love and to those who are interested, there will be an extended part to this reading that you can follow on from. You will find that extended link in the show more section below. This is a general love reading. If it resonates with you right now, feel free to show your support towards the channel. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Taurian placements. To the cross watchers checking in on a Taurus, I do advise that you take the messages as they best resonate for you. And Taurus and cross watcher, as always, you can reverse the roles in this video. Let's dive on in. Spirit, angels and guides, what is surrounding Taurus in love this week? What is surrounding Taurus in love this week? What is it that Taurus needs to know when it comes to love, relationship, connecting, what do they need to know? Okay, this one wants to come through. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. All right. So as a standalone card, Taurus, you may be reevaluating your situation this week. You may be reevaluating your connection, reevaluating your relationship. You might be looking at it thinking, is this what I really want? Is um, this where I really want to be pouring all of my energy into? Do I want to invest in this connection anymore? Is this wasting my time? Or do I just hang out a little longer, be patient a little longer and wait for my investment to you know, bear fruit. So the Seven of Pentacles, it, it, it is a card of patience, um, but there's also an unfulfilled energy coming through. I feel like you have poured a lot of your time, energy, heart, love, resources into somebody. Um, but you may feel at this point that all of this uh, energy that you've been putting into this uh, relationship might not be paying off. Okay, so let's just let's just continue. But I'm just that's a, as a standalone card. So let's find out more. And with Mercury currently in retrograde, you're definitely reevaluating um, your situation. I can see that. That's what Mercury retrograde does. It makes us kind of just take a little step back and think about or rethink what, what we want to do or what we should do better or what we could do better. Um, yeah. Look at this, Nine of Wands is here. Spirit Angels and Guides, tell us more. What is surrounding Taurus in love this week? What is surrounding Taurus in love? Yeah, the Seven of Wands is here. Look at this, like these three cards. I feel like with the Nine of Wands, Taurus, you're, you're exhausted, you're run down, you're worn down. I feel like you've just about had enough you're just at the end of the road with someone you know the nine is in the tarot it speaks to the end coming to the end of a cycle not quite but you're all you're almost there but the seven of wands is here so i'm sensing here mm, you're not quite ready to give up just yet. The Seven of Wands is the prequel to the Nine of Wands. Okay, you've got two sevens coming in here. So... I 
I definitely feel like you're in a place where you're carefully considering and contemplating what it is that you should do. Mm. Let's keep going. Spirit angels and guides, what is surrounding Taurus in love this week? What is surrounding Taurus in love this week? The Knight of Wands is here. You could be connecting to a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spirit angels and guides. What is surrounding Taurus in love? Oh, the Six of Swords is here. Hmm. So with the Knight of Wands, um, you may feel like you're dealing with someone who just brings too much uncertainty or too much unpredictability. You may have a strong attraction and passion towards this person, but this person doesn't make you feel safe. This person doesn't make you feel secure. Yeah, sure. When you're with them in the room, they make you feel like you're the only person in the room. They, you know, Do you know what I mean? But, you know, outside of this, you're not feeling too safe. You're not feeling too secure. Because right next to the Knight of Wands is the Six of Swords. And there's a woman and she's standing in a boat. And when she's standing in a boat on top of the water, that doesn't look stable to me. So you're showing me here, you're in a situation where you don't feel emotionally safe with somebody. You want to feel emotionally safe. You want to feel like this person's loyalties lay with you or lie with you. And you're just not sure at this point whether or not you're investing in someone who maybe isn't returning exactly the same. Hmm. I feel like you're emotionally exhausted is what I want to say. And this woman, her boat is heading to the shore. So it's like you, you want to park your boat on, the, on, the, on solid ground. You want to be on solid ground. But yet I'm still getting this feeling like you're not ready to give up just yet. Now I can't speak for all of you. Some of you have already maybe decided. Um, tell me more spirit. What is surrounding Taurus in love this week? <laughs> There's the two of pentacles now. What's at the bottom of the deck? The three of cups. With the devil. Hmm. Three of cups with the devil. Look at this. The ten of pentacles. This is what you really want. This is what you really want. Look at this. You want the king of pentacles. You want this person to show up as the king of pentacles. You want them to be committed you want them to show predictability. You want this to be someone that you can really rely on. You know, when they say that they're going to be somewhere or they're going to show up on a particular time, you know, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're going to be there at a certain time or they're going to show up where they say they're going to show up. Um, this is what you want. You want the Ten of Pentacles with this person. You want you want a, a committed relationship. With this person. 
you you want to know that your connection is is heading towards the ten of pentacles you want to know that all of the energy that you've been pouring into this connection is going to lead to the ten of pentacles at some point but with the two of pentacles here you're feeling like It's, it's, how, how can I put it? You're not too sure if this relationship is going to lead you uh, to the end goal of marriage um, or commitment. You do want to settle down with someone here. I can see it. But you're not too sure if this person can meet your needs. Mm. With the devil here, they're showing too many red flags. The page of pentacles is here. Another card of instability. Okay. You want this person to be the king of pentacles, but they're showing you the page of pentacles. They're putting in very little effort at this time. Oh, look at this. And then we've got the knight of pentacles underneath that. Right? Look at this. Hmm. Okay, the Devil, Three of Cups. The Three of Cups shows me here, Taurus, that you may be in a situation ship. Okay, and that you may be in a situation ship with this person for quite some time. Now, with the devil here and the three of cups, this situation ship could be like a friends with benefits. You may have been stuck at this stage of just casu casually seeing each other. You may feel like this person has you in the friend zone. But I feel like you're desperate to get out of this three of cups energy. Like you're desperate to for this to head into something more meaningful um i'm just going to clarify it I'm just going to expand on it spirit tell me more about this devil and the three of cups tell me more spirit tell me more about the devil and the three of cups what is it that Taurus needs to know when it comes to the Devil and the Three of Cups? The thing is, Taurus, is what, what's keeping you here? What's keeping you stuck here, though? This person somehow has their hooks in you. It's like this person knows how to seduce you or woo you or play you back into this Three of Cups energy. Is what I want to say. Um, the Three of Wands is here. Some of you have been waiting to get out of this Three of Cups stage. Like you're, you're stuck at this Three of Cups stage. You've been waiting um, to get out of this stage um, and into the next stage. But with the devil, it's, it's not going anywhere. You know, it's not going anywhere. Um,
The Three of Cups is your support network. If you're feeling like Taurus that you can't get out of this uh, relationship or connection, if you feel like this person has their hooks in you, I would be inclined here to reach out to your friends or your family for support because there might be some people here that can help you move on uh, from this situation that you have felt stuck in for quite some time. Yeah, that's what I feel called to say here. Mm. Let's take a look at this Nine of Wands energy for you. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. You know, the High Priestess is here. The High Priestess is here. So I feel like your intuition this week, Taurus, is trying to tell you maybe it's a good idea to maybe set some kind of a boundary with this person if you haven't set one already. Some of you with the Seven of Wands here, I'm seeing in the Seven of Wands, this woman, um, I'll try to pick up this card. She's got like a bubble around her. So you may feel that you need to protect your energy. Um, you need to protect yourself from this person. Mm. Because with the Knight of Wands, he tends to, he or she um, tends to have this reputation of like walking in and out of your life. You know, this may be someone that you're allowing in and out, in and out constantly of your life. But your higher self, your intuition is nudging you to finally set some kind of a boundary with this person. Um, with the devil here, I do see that maybe some of the work might need to be done on looking at your own weaknesses with this person, like understanding what draws you back to this person. Like what are they saying or what are they doing that um, pulls you back in? Okay, I'm not saying that's going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate for you, please, you know, just take the message. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at these Seven of Wands for you. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Uh, the Page of Cups is here. You could be connecting to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, okay. Yeah, I feel like you are trying to, it almost feels like you're trying to care less or trying to shut your emotions down here with this person. Mm. It, it's like you're trying to set your own emotional boundaries with this person. Like less, less interaction with this person is best. 
maybe with the page of cups kind of like going into it with a, a you know looking at this person as just as a friend nothing more nothing less with the seven of wands And I feel like it's it's for your own um, sake. It's for your own sanity. Here. Tell me more about this Six of Swords for Taurus. Tell me more about this Six of Swords for Taurus. Yeah. The Seven of Cups. Hmm. So, Taurus, you are wanting to park that boat on the sand. I can see the boat is headed towards the shoreline and you're doing it for stability here or you're wanting to do it for stability because for a, a lot of you, for quite some time, you've been in a very emotionally unstable situation. A lot of you have been feeling like this person has been treating you like an option. Okay, with the Seven of Cups here, this person may have eluded you in some way or misled you in some way. Hmm. It's a hard one because um, I still feel you have emotions tied in with this person. We don't have any swords cards on the table, Taurus, for you, oh, except for the six of swords. Um, so, but it, it feels like it's a struggle for you to move on or it's a struggle for you to move forward and I feel like that's where your friends or your family or the people that are your ride or dies can really help you here because you know what your friends and your family know you better than anybody else so I feel like where you're lacking reason um, they will be the voice of reason for you Mm, okay. Uh, some of you with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups, it's like moving on, okay? Making that, you know, decision to move on to and maybe opening yourself up to other options. But again, I'm still feeling like you're emotionally still invested or tied in with this person. Um Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles, Spirit. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. What's going on here for Taurus? <laughs> You're not going to believe what card came through. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like we're going round and round in circles here, Taurus. I just feel like you're strongly trying to figure out whether or not this is a relationship you should continue investing in or not. Mm. And you know what? Um, we are currently in a Mercury retrograde. It will go all the way through to the 25th of April. You may feel this energy. Uh, you may be in this energy uh, until the 25th of April when Mercury does go direct. And when Mercury does go direct, I feel like you will have your clarity. You will have your answers you will know very clearly what to do in this situation um, I am going to leave it here Taurus but what I will do over on the extended we're going to take a closer look at your person's 
uh, feelings, thoughts and actions towards you. If that is something that you're interested in, you will find the link in the show more section below or in the drop downs box below. And I will see you over on the extended. Bye guys.